Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what can be achieved with uh, an event-driven uh, uh, web interface. So here I'm running um, an async web server on uh, the SP32. And uh, in parallel, the, that uh, dev board is also running a Telegram bot here and an MQTT server. Uh, the, the MQTT server is just not running at the moment. Um, also, um, everything is running in parallel. For instance, if uh, I press that button here, uh, that I've set here on, the, on that row, uh, it's gonna refresh only the button without refreshing the page. Uh, so for instance, let's press it, turning on and off and on and off. So it's pretty, pretty fast uh, and it's using Wi-Fi. Uh, you can do the same uh, with the LED here. So for instance, turning on the LED of the onboard uh, um, ESP32 will turn on and off and on and off. And I've also uh, set an automation here that will just bling that LED here. So if I run it, you see that it's turning on and off uh, the button as the LED is turning on and off. So it's pretty much synced. Um, also, you can do the same here on the Telegram interface. Uh, so it's a bot. Um, so if I want to turn on the LED, I just press the button of the chat and it should turn on the LED and also the button here. I can also blink uh, the LED here and it should turn the other machine as running and also the button here. The cool stuff also is that you can, uh, as you can access the API here, you can uh, set on iOS all sorts of shortcuts and you can access these shortcuts while, uh, with um, Siri. So for instance, if I say, hey Siri, blink, it's gonna, it's gonna trigger the, the blink automation here. Yeah, that's it. So that's uh, an example of what you can do with uh, an event-driven uh, web uh, interface. It's pretty cool and it's available on uh, GitHub. You can access it uh, um, uh, on the command. Let me know what you think about it. Ciao.